Hey guys, it's Gia. I'm back with another video. So it's been about, probably about a month since I last actually recorded a video. Like if you've been tuning into my channel, I've been, you know, spinning out videos like in chops. So like I would just sit and do like a whole like 30 minute video and just like take certain clips and portions of it and post. So this video is gonna be kind of personal. Not, not like crazy, crazy personal, but personal in a sense of, I'm actually gonna bring you guys in to the personal side of how I got into film. So um, if you're interested in learning more about me and you know how I got here, you know, stay tuned. <laughs> all the way clear let me keep it all the way 100 being a black woman in film is not easy it is so hard it is so tough so let's rewind i really started to take my film career serious when i turned 27. i began acting since back when i was in high school so Back when I was in high school, roughly around my sophomore year in high school, um, I attended a program. Well, my sister and I, we attended a program called John Robert Powers. Another version of it is called Barbazon, but back then the acting portion that I knew of was called John Robert Powers. I think we attended it, I think was it in Gaithersburg or something like that. At first, my sister was the one who was supposed to be auditioning. Um, and then I tagged along and joined in that day and surprisingly, both of us got selected. So every Saturday, my sister and I were taking acting classes and we were getting into the groove, we were learning so many acting techniques. And that was the first time I was really held accountable because back when I was a sophomore in high school, I had, of course, high school things to do, classes, work. And I think I was also in softball at that time. And then now tag along acting classes. So I really couldn't keep up with the acting work. But I was in a room full of young children who were really taking it seriously. Like the parents really took their, their career seriously. And these were some, and I was in class with people who were actually on television shows, who were getting chosen for television shows, who were, you know, um, getting booked for Disney Channel. And every sat, also every Saturday, a talent agent will come and we would audition. So I was actually like in a room with real live talent agents who were booking clients for Adam, Sa Adam Sandler's movies. So every week we were auditioning and it was a great experience. It didn't pan out, but we just stopped doing the whole acting thing. Acting, like we just stopped because it really cost a lot of money and then to come back with no awards no callbacks or anything like that i stopped doing acting for about um uh, maybe five six years and then i got back into back into film um i ended up taking a producer's class at a tv station called dc tv i took a class there and i actually produced a short film that aired on dc tv it aired and that was a great experience because it really taught me about the film producing process and what it took to put a production together. I think I attended that class like right after I graduated college and I paused there again because I was still kind of confused. I was really down and out. So, you know, and here I am, you know, I just finished, you know, graduating from college um, in a completely different field and now at the last minute I'm switching to film. Yeah, that didn't go, that didn't go well with my folks. So, um, yeah, I, I had to stop there because I had to really get my life together. I was broke, I didn't have no money and I didn't get my life fully in order until I turned 27. So when I turned 27, I officially moved out of my parents' basement and got my, got a master bedroom and that was the best time of my life. So that's when I decided to take the plunge, when I f fully moved out of my parents' house and became a seriously financially independent woman who decided to take control of her life. I'm like, you know what, this is the time. 
this is the time I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go into film. So that has been my process and how I got into film. Um, yeah, there's more to come on that. I'm excited, but that is just a little bit about me and my film journey and how I've gotten here so far. I hope you guys enjoyed that aspect. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I said this video was gonna be quick. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye.